The puppet tools are amazing. We can use the puppet tools to add animation and natural movements to images. This effect works by deforming a mesh. Imagine that whatever image you're working on is made of rubber, and you are pulling on the rubber to create the changes. Let's go ahead and create a new composition. And you can leave these settings, DV and all that. Let's name this Puppet. And click OK. Let's go ahead and import a file. So double click on an empty space here in the project panel. Navigate to your Chapter 12 folder. And choose Doggy.ai. Click on Open. And there you go. Let's drag this down to the composition. And here he is. Let's go ahead and make the background transparent. Let's toggle the transparency of the grid. Now let's use the Puppet Pin tool. Again, imagine this is made out of rubber. So we're going to put a pin right on the nose. Maybe another one right here on the head. One on the body. And one on the front leg. And one towards the hind leg. And now you can just deform the nose, deform the legs, anything you want. You can sniff anything you want. This works really, really, really well. Sometimes we do not want for things to be flexible like rubber. When this is the case, we use the Puppet Starch tool. So let's go ahead and see what that's all about. Let's go ahead and switch tools. Puppet Starch tool. Let's go ahead and make the legs straight. So I'm just going to go ahead and click in the middle of this leg. And let me show you the mesh. When you select any of the puppet tools, you can choose to see the mesh or not. It's the same with the puppet pin tool. You can see the mesh or not. If you want to go back to the position in which the image was originally, all you have to do is select the layer and press the letter U. Notice that we have all the pins there. You can select all of the pins, right-click, and choose Reset, and it's going to go back to the original position. All right, let's show the mesh for the starch tool, and let's make sure that this little starch point is selected. Notice that there are two options in here, Amount and Extent. We can extend the starch. Let me zoom in so we can see it better. Notice that now there is gray above almost the entire leg. Let's go ahead and extend it a little bit more. There you go. And I'll do the same on this leg, and on this leg, and this leg. Notice that these got a little bit too much, so we can reduce the extent of those. Around yay. And that's pretty good. Now let's go ahead and apply a couple more pins. Maybe one here at the bottom. Notice how that leg is now straight. And the same with the other ones. Let's have one here, one at the bottom. And there you go. Again, the Puppet Starch tool is used for when you don't want for things to be flexible like rubber. It's just like a stiffener.